So this is bonus number two video from the 10 day paperclip challenge. I'm going to show you how to make little findings for the end of your cord. You can use a cotton cord or a leather cord. This I already have my fidget spinner pendant from the challenge. You need a few paper clips. The one inch ones are fine and your tools and be sure to use cutters that you don't mind if they get a little damaged or use memory wire cutters. So as always, we have to open up our paper clip to get started. And then what we want to do is make a kind of a spring that we can put on the end of the cord. If you have a thick wire like this, you can just wind it around. So just hold this here and wind it around and around. And I would do at least five, maybe six, uh, rounds here but what you're going to have to do is it's probably maybe not uh, big enough so if you want to make this bigger you have to like backtrack so you're just going to backtrack to make the coil a little less big and then what you can do is just see if it actually fits on your cord so if it fits great go ahead and uh, trim it so you're going to get your cutters make sure it's like pushed together here so you go ahead and get your cutters and cut it just one uh, at the bottom there sometimes you have to give it a nip and then just pull it off and then what you want to do is hold this with your round pliers and bend that across and you want to form a loop at the top so take your round pliers and form a loop now just bend it so it's somewhat centered on there it's a little tricky because it's very hard and then you're going to also clip that flush the advantage of this is it's going to hold its shape because it's steel wire it's very hard so we're just going to bend that in like that and then what you would do is actually take your cord just pinch it in. You might have to wet it if it doesn't go in and then just stick it in right in the spring. So make sure it goes right into the end. You Sometimes I actually add a dab of crazy glue on there so it doesn't pull out, but it should be okay like that. So just stick it right in. You can make your spring longer if you want. And then you're just going to take this and pinch it in. So pinch it there and then you can do a half twist pinch it a little bit more and just make sure that little sharp end is stuck in so that's going to hold its shape and then we're going to do the other side so another way to do it if you don't have this thicker wire to wind it around just take your paper clip and use your round pliers try to use the larger ones and just take this end and just wind it around you can just take that and you can actually just start from the end so you won't have to clip the end and just bend it around. So just keep bending it, keep it sort of in the same position on your pliers. Like if you have smaller pliers, just do it further down, but just keep track of where you are on your pliers so your loops are the same size. And then just keep going around and around and around until you have enough. Like I would recommend doing at least five or six rounds so the cord has really a lot to grab onto. So just around here. Once you've done all your loops, just hold it with your smaller pliers and just give it a little bend across. So it's sort of gone across the middle there, across the middle. If it's not quite centered and you have to tug it a little more, just put these on the other side and just give it a little bit of a tug. And then get your larger round pliers again. And then just bend it. I'm going to hold it this way so you can see it. Just bend it this way around. Form the loop. And then you're going to have to work it in a little bit more. So hold it and work it in there so it's like centered at the top. And then at that point, you're going to have to clip it. Take your cutters, not your best ones, give it a good little clip. And as long as you nick it, then you could just bend it back and forth and it's going to uh, come off. And then take your flat pliers, hold that, and then just give flick of the wrist, 
get it centered in there. Perfect. So now we're going to take the other end of our cord. Same thing. If you want to put a dab of crazy glue, go for it. And then you're just going to stick it in here. This one ended up being a little bit bigger because I use my larger pliers, but you can use your smaller pliers too. So stick it right to the end. A uh, dab of crazy glue if you have it and just take this spring and pinch it so it's pinched in place and then give it a half turn and pinch it a little more. I always pinch it maybe two three times to make sure it's really uh, secure. If you're using leather be careful not to pinch through the leather. The cotton is much more resistant but there we have our two loops and now we're going to make a hook. So first we're going to make the hook to go on the uh, cord. So we'll take our round pliers and what you want to do is just close, like do a little closed loop on one end so it won't be sharp. So I like to just start it like that so it's almost closed and then give it a little pinch and that way it, the loop won't be too, too big, okay? But it's still closed and it won't be scratchy. So then we're going to get our larger round pliers and just bring this one around. Okay, just bring it right around here. So that makes a nice little hook. And then we can just bend that a little bit at an angle here. And then we can just take our round pliers and bend it out. And then take this one and bring it around just up like that and what you can do here is you can twist it around but it's not really necessary to twist it around we can just cut it flush so we're going to just go like that so it makes a full uh, turn and then we're going to hang it on one of these uh, spring ends and just put it right in there and then kind of tighten it up a little bit not too much and then we're just going to cut it flush okay and give it a nice flush cut and then the nice thing about this is we're just going to flat like kind of pinch it so it's that little space is closed here and it's going to stay in place because this steel wire is super strong so you can just have it like that and you don't really have to wind it around with the steel wire and then this hook shouldn't be quite so close but it's going to be like very tightly closed there for the other side we'll just do a loop and we could actually just use the rest of our paper clip i think it's it's big enough and so what you want to do is make sure this is cut flush if it's not cut flush just recut it so it's flat and then take our round pliers and just do a closed circle here this is almost it's going to be almost like an infinity sign so just do that and then hook it on there okay and take our flat pliers and just make sure it's flush there so that's nice and flush and then what we're going to do is if you want to do it more like the infinity sign just take this end and bring it right around here. I would make this loop a little bit bigger so it has the hook has something to grab onto. Just bring that around, just right around. And so this ends up being like almost like the continuation of that side. Just clip it there. And you could actually make a whole chain out of these infinity signs. It'd be super cute. I'll link up the infinity sign uh, tutorial from the uh, challenge below. So that's like a little infinity sign end loop. So you just take that and just hook it right into the hook. And there you have your findings made out of paper clips. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and wire jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. I'll link it up below. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you want to sign up below, I'll send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.